not be able to read the No, don't leave Sharpie. I'll get her up. She'll read it and then you have it off your mouth. No, don't leave her. She, uh, she just got in two hours ago. She needs her sleep. Besides, I, I don't want to read it right now. Got in two hours ago? What do you mean by that? Where's she been all that time? Well, I told you last night that Star was going to Birmingham. You told day. me nothing last night. Well, maybe it must have flipped my mind. That letter's been all I can think of since I got Where's Star been? You tell me. How come she got in so late? Did she stay out all of that? Don't yell at me like that. Star's been visiting in Birmingham some rich girls she met there. They gave her swell presents and take her out of parties and things. Rich girls, huh? Mm, maybe probably get her a job. Let it be. <coughs> Oh, bad, I'd like to know. Dragging me out of bed like that. Who the hell do you think you are? You can cuss words like a cheap bluesy. There's your daughter for you. There she is. Look at her, will you? Who give you that thing you got on? Who give it to you, I said? Let go me, damn you. It's none of your business. And I told you, friend, it was girls in Birmingham, rich society, girls, the people that give her them things. You don't give me that stuff. Maybe I am an underground rat. But I still got some sense enough in my head to know that it weren't no Birmingham girls that gave her them cat house rags she's got on. Who was it, huh? Who gave you them things? Leave me be! What did you ever give me that you should make such a fuss? The bread you eat, that's what I give. Now, I'll give you something more if you want. <gasps> How do you like that? I'll give you that. You can't do that. You can't pull stuff like that on me, you goddamn old fool. I guess I've got to have friends, all right. You've got to have friends, have you? Sure, I have, and places to go. Well, then you go to her. Bram, she can't do that. It's crazy. It's honey, honey, you can't listen to that man. He's out of his head. Yes, Bram, you get to listen. Star ain't done a thing wrong. I swear that she ain't. Your own daughter, Bram, you know better than to think such a thing. Maybe she's right. Yeah. Maybe it ain't no rich girls that give me these things. What of it? <laughs> I'm young. I want the fun out of life. I'll tell you who took me to Birmingham. Jake Wallen did. It was him that bought me the hat and the shoes and the new pocketbook, yeah. And he bought me this. He bought me everything that I brought home with me. What of it? We had a swell time. <laughs> I'm sure we did. We had a swell time in Birmingham. Me and Jake Wallen did. And if you think that I'm she went with Jack Wallen. Did you hear? She went with that dirty skirt chasing. No, Bram. You let me. You let Bram. me. Get out of here, you dirty little. Sure, I'll go. I've got places to go, all right. Places right here in this camp. No, don't go. go. For God's sake, sir, don't go. You gotta be. You gotta stop her, Bram. She can't go off like this to that man. Stop her, Bram. She can't go like that. Bring her back. Uh, I let her go. I'm through.